Sanjay? Yep. Who is it? Just coming. It was a dry cleanup. He just got a bed spray. That's nice. But now can you do me a favor please? What? Can you take it out from this packet and just leave it out in the open for some time? Why not just use it on the bed? No, no, we can't. It's not safe. It's dry clean, Simran. How is it not safe? Welcome to our channel, Mango Do It. I'm Simran. And I'm Sanjay. We all believe that our dry cleaned garments are thoroughly clean. But did you know they might pose a threat to our health? Let's see how. When we accidentally drop something on our garments, dry cleaning seems to be the best remedy to remove any stains. We all prefer to give our delicate garments like silk and woolens for dry cleaning because there is no fear of color leakage, burns or shrinkage. Now what is dry cleaning? There is nothing dry about dry cleaning. Instead of using soap and water, our clothes are washed with solvents and then dried thoroughly by using hot air. The widely used solvent in the dry cleaning industry is called perk or perk chloroethylene. This is a highly toxic chemical and it can harm your liver, your kidneys and your central nervous system. This is a possible carcinogen and can even cause cancer. In a research conducted in India, 75% of the dry clean clothes contained some amount of perk. The range varied between 1.3 milligrams to 101 milligrams per kg. That is the reason why we feel irritation in the nose, throat, giddiness, headaches, dizziness after smelling freshly dry clean clothes. To take care of our garments, we must avoid the use of aftershaves, perfumes and colognes directly on them. And in case we accidentally do stain them, then we should try and remove the stains with stain removers that are easily available in the market. Washing with water and soap is the safest, especially for clothes of children and infants. When our clothes come back from the dry cleaners, we must take them out from the packets, keep them out in a well-ventilated area, let the fumes evaporate completely and only then should we take them and keep them inside our closets. The dry cleaning industry must shift to safer solvents such as hydrocarbons. They must follow strict norms in using perk and other chemicals in safe and permissible limits. The highest level of threat in this industry is to the workers and they should wear the right PPE kit. The dry cleaning should be done in closed chambers to avoid emission of toxic fumes which are hazardous not just for the workers but also to the area around the dry cleaning unit. The waste products of this industry should also be disposed of carefully because they too are a threat to the environment. So please next time before giving your clothes for dry cleaning, do identify the dry cleaners who are using safe solvents. We may be unknowingly harming our health and environment. Think about it. Take care. Bye-bye.